Hello, everybody. My name's Ezra. Uh, I'm going to share a little bit about my story about uh, how I lost my leg and how I have two fingers on my left hand. So basically, when I was really young, I had a left leg. I was curved in towards my waist. So my left leg, this one, was curved in like this. And then when I was two and a half years old, I had a surgery and the doctors, they removed the curved part of my leg. So I just had a stump. And then, so I used to have, I used to have old legs that were curved like this to fit my, my left leg that was curved. And then the doctors removed the curved part so that I could fit into legs that were straight like this. And what they did was they took the big toe that was on my left leg and they put it onto my left hand. So this is an old toe that used to be on my left leg that was curved in. And for me, this surgery was really amazing because it changed everything for me. Because can you pick something up with one finger? You can't, right? You can't pick anything up with one finger unless you hold it against your chest. But then you add a second finger, right? And what can you do? You can pick things up. You can hold things. You can do so much more, right? So it totally helped me pick things up, hold things. It made everything overall so much better and so much more helpful for me. And for me, sports was almost like my sort of meditation, right? Sports was somewhere where I could go where I didn't feel different anymore. And when I was really young, since I was really young, I loved playing sports. I mean, my first word was ball. I learned to count by twos before ones from watching so many Laker games. Sports is my everything. And as I got older, um, I started to I try out track and field for the first time. I found out that I really liked it. And then last year, I had the privilege and I made the United States national track and field team. And I got to go to world championships. I got to go to a bunch of big competitions and I was able to win a few medals, which I have here. I can show you guys. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah, and I, uh, I went to Peru. And these medals are actually from Peru. I went to Switzerland and I went to Dubai. So if you look, this is a, my silver medal from, from Peru in the high jump and the long jump. Yeah, those are the events that I do. And so my family and I, we, we, we appreciate the value of sports. And I know all of you guys know the value of sports, right? What it does for you, right? Physically, psychologically. Um, and so thank you guys so much for having me here. Um, and I think... Uh, I mean, we can get into some few stretches. Show me, like, show me. Oh, yeah. This is also my, this is the leg that I use to run with. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but. How heavy is thing. that, Ezra? What would you say? How heavy is that? It's pretty heavy. I mean, when it's, when it's on my leg, it doesn't feel as heavy, of course, but like if you're holding it up, it's pretty heavy, yeah. Wow. That is super those, cool. Those, the ones that I was showing you, all of these stuff. These are all my old legs, and then when I, was, when I was really young, and then this is the, the one that I have now to run and jump. Super cool. Yeah, and, um, okay, it's called a cheetah leg, because I can run really fast, yes. <laughs> um, all right, should we do some stretches? I'm going to stand up for this one, but, uh, or should I sit down? Yeah, you can, you can, well, just a couple sitting, and then a couple on All the right, floor. so I wanted to do some, some, like, arm stretches and arm exercises, because, we're all inside a lot, and we're all sitting down a lot throughout the day. Um, so we can start off by, by going like this. We'll reach the side, and then we'll clap. And then the other side, clap. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now the next time we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to go up. We're going to reach really high up and stretch. Stretch our shoulders, the throw arms. So we go one, two, clap. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're gonna put them together. So we're gonna go up, up, and then to the side and to the side. Now we're gonna clap. Okay, we'll do five of those. All right, one. Two, that's the side. Three, four, now clap. One, two, three, pull, pull, four, and then clap. Then we're going out one more time. One, two, 
three, reach out, four, and then clap. And one more. Reach really high, reach really high, stretch, and stretch, and then clap. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, this is a little stretch to help keep, I don't even, this is just to help keep your shoulders loose. So we're gonna count to 10, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, all right, loosen up, other side, let's go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, now, now we're gonna put our arm back here and we're gonna stretch our tricep, which is a really big muscle and it's really important for doing a lot of things. So let's go, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. All right, shake it off for a sec, and then we'll do another arm, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now, now I'm gonna sit on the floor, and we're gonna start to stretch our legs. So what we're gonna do here, as you can see, we're gonna lean forward and try to touch our toes. We're count to ten. All right, everybody, let me know when you're ready. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're gonna put our legs a little bit out, and we're gonna go to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, last one to the middle. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, and now, and now we're gonna do some stuff that I usually do when I'm in the weight room. But since we're not in the weight room anymore and we don't have the weights to do it, uh, we can pretend. Everyone, pretend you're grabbing really big imaginary weights, and we're gonna do we're gonna do a squat. And then we're gonna push it up. All right, we'll do ten of those. Ready? One, two, bend down, and then push up. Three. Four, five, almost there, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ah, ten. We did it. Can we do some, and then, something you do for jumping? or Yeah, and then some stuff that I do to jump really high is I do a ton of jumping jacks. So if you can, and if you're able to, if not, you can just move your arms in the chair or whatever when you're sitting down, but we're going to do ten jumping jacks, okay? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. That's a little, a little fun home exercise stretch workout <laughs> that I usually do. So thank you guys so much for having me. I, I hope you had some fun. Hope you got, got a little more loose with some of the stretches. Um, but yeah, I'm Ezra and thank you. I'm, I was really, it was really fun. If, they, if anyone has any questions, I'm totally welcome to answer. It's like we have a question from Scarlett and Henry. Okay. Um, how do you move your leg if it's not like... There? Yeah. <laughs> I have, so look, I have a leg from, yeah. I have, I have a leg from my hip all the way down to like right before my knee. You wanna take it off? Yeah, I can take it off and show you, but like, basically, basically I have, I have this much of a leg. So I can control it, right, with this and how I move it, and whatever I do with this controls the way the prosthetic moves. So if I want the prosthetic to go up, I'll just lift this up and the prosthetic will go out, right? It, because it's attached to my, uh, it'll, the, the, the helper leg, the, the mechanical leg, will go up whichever way I move it. Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. But I control it with like a little bit of leg that I do have, if that makes sense. Yeah.
No, so what grade are you and what do you want to do after high school? <laughs> I'm in ninth grade right now. Um, so I have not put enough thought into what I want to do after high school yet. Definitely something involved with sports, but I, I'm trying to go to the Paralympics in, in Tokyo, which is now next year. Um, so I definitely want to pursue track and field and, and pursue a professional career, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure what I would want to do after yet. But yes, I'm in ninth grade. Well, we wish you luck um, with everything, Ezra, and we hope that you do get to, um, to the Paralympics or the Olympics. What is it, the Paralympics? Yes, the Paralympics, yeah. Well, we wish you luck with that, and, uh, and we'll look forward to watching online this summer all of the Angel City Sports or Angel, Angel City Games. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, you and guys now, can all participate in the games this summer, for sure. Well, that would be great. And Jennifer, now, Jennifer Quick asked if, you could, if we can follow you on social media. Oh, yes. Yes, I have, a, I have an Instagram account. It's uh, Team Ezra. Zero five and on Facebook and on, and on Facebook, Twitter, it's just Team Ezra zero five and Angel City Sports and and then Angel, our Angel City Sports Instagram and social media is just Angel City Sports. So feel free to follow us. You can stay in contact and 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 yeah, you guys are gonna love the games and thank you for having me. I appreciate it.